This video looks at the dry needling techniques for the iliacus and psoas muscles, collectively known as the iliopsoas. Ipsilaterally, the pain from these trigger points may refer posteriorly to the lumbar region or anteriorly to the upper part of the thigh. To target the iliacus trigger points, the patient is laid in the supine position with the area medial to the ASIS exposed. The area of soft tissue directly adjacent to the ASIS is then palpated for. The needle is positioned between the supporting fingers and directed posteriorly towards the iliac fossa. The needle should aim for the iliacus trigger point and stay close to the wall of the iliac fossa and away from the sciatic and femoral neurovascular structures. The lower trigger points for iliopsoas will be needled with the patient in supine with the leg in an externally rotated and supported position. To needle this trigger point, the practitioner must have a good understanding of the anatomy around the femoral triangle. First palpate along the sartorius for the lateral aspect, followed by the adductor longus down the medial aspect. Locate the ingroinal ligament across the superior border, followed by the femoral artery within the triangle. Following accurate palpation of this femoral artery, the practitioner then palpates a finger width laterally and then palpates for the trigger points of the iliopsoas. You should then be in a safe position to apply the needle in a slightly lateral direction away from the femoral nerve and artery. Given the deep nature of this trigger point, it is unlikely that a visual representation of the twitch response will be elicited.